So I'm going to do a quick run through here on the new Internet Explorer app for Xbox. This is included in a new system update that was released uh, in mid-October 2012. The app loads fairly quickly. Um, and first you're greeted by this screen here where it gives you uh, some featured websites. Um, I'm going to check out Twitter here. And websites seem to load pretty quick. I am on a Wi-Fi connection. Not going to bother logging in here, but as you can see, uh, it is all it, it's set up the same as if you were on your computer, um, and it does remember cookies if you choose to save passwords. Uh, we're going to check out a uh, website here for a local newspaper in Charlottetown, PEI, called The Guardian. I'm testing their website because it's a pretty intense website on uh, on a lot of older computers, um, so it should give us an idea of how well Internet Explorer holds up on the Xbox. So loading here stopped, and it just seemed to load the uh, the head of the website. So I'll go ahead and, uh, if I can figure out how to reload this website here. So my, oh, here we go. So yeah, we'll reload the site and see if it loads for the second time. Okay, here we go, we got content. Let's scroll to the bottom. As you can see, it doesn't load the whole website all at once. It kind of draws the graphics as you go, uh, as you scroll up and down. We'll go into a story here. Now, you'll see that the cursor highlights green when it's over an active link. I'm controlling this with the controller, and I've noticed this on a few other websites where you'll click a few times and it doesn't actually catch. Yeah, as you can see, like text is readable if you're on a big screen TV. This is a 40 inch TV. I'm recording it with an iPhone, so that's pretty good. We'll try opening up a picture here. Yeah, and the picture overlays, they, they open up and they close pretty easy. Try another one. If I can figure out how to close it. Oh, here we go. And let's try a more popular website than the Guardians. We'll go to Google. And I think it does suggestive search too. Yeah, it does. That's cool. Anyway, so I'm just uh, just that's a quick little run through on Internet Explorer for Xbox that, as I said earlier, was released as part of a system update that Microsoft released in uh, mid October 2012.